So hello and welcome to today's video. So a while back I did a video about a very mysterious glitch in body that occurs during the mission Finding Johnny Vincent, where for some completely unexplained reason you may turn into Fear the Orderly when you enter the asylum, and the game then bugs out badly, either crashing seconds later or letting you play as Fear without mods. So today I'm going to explain to you the real reasons behind the glitch, what causes it, how to replicate it, and pretty much everything you need to know about it, and full credit for these findings goes to Simon Bestia and Deadpool XYZ. So, this glitch is very easily done on the Wii version, and that's because the Wii version of Buddy is by far the earliest build of the game, and this can be semi-replicated with modding on PC and mobile, but it's unknown how to trigger this on PS2 and Xbox, and that's assuming the claims it happening on those platforms are true because, you know, we still don't have any video evidence of it. So, on the Wii, the glitch occurs if you do Finding Johnny Vincent and play the mission up until the part where Jimmy obtains the orderly outfit, and then just fail the mission somehow, by getting knocked out or busted or whatever. Then, on the next replay, the game will glitch out and put you in charge of Theo. So, why? Because that sounds so simple to pull off, but why does it occur on a replay? Well, according to Deadpool, the mission code actually checks to see if you've picked up the Asylum Orderly outfit. You don't have to be wearing it, you just have to have it picked up. And if you do, the game thinks you already spoke to Johnny and skips over those objectives. This is because the Asylum Orderly outfit you pick up is completely different to the Asylum Orderly outfit you wear. I think this was done because of the All Clothes cheat, but that does not explain why Jimmy turns into Theo. Well, the reason for that is because it turns out the game actually, well, deletes Jimmy. So Deadpool claims the orderly that you talk to in the mission after picking the outfit up is not the same orderly from when you enter the asylum, because apparently the game does not load up the block B inmates or even the control room orderly until you reach the lounge like area. And this can be seen if you use a no clip mod to sort of get a look at block B, or if you keep an eye on the radar, because you'll notice that all of the orderlies and that will just suddenly appear on your radar when you enter that room. And then when Jimmy picks up the outfit, the control room orderly gets deleted, but then respawned with new property so Jimmy can talk to him in order to progress. So in the Wii version of the game, it believes that Jimmy has already spoken to Johnny and picked up the asylum uniform. But the thing is, since Jimmy has just entered the asylum, the control room orderly has not even spawned yet. So the game does not know what to do because there is no valid pedestrian to delete. So to avoid crashing, ironically, it deletes default ped who just so happens to be Jimmy. And because Jimmy now gets erased instead of the new control room orderly who gets spawned, the game kind of freaks out and just puts you in control of the newly spawned orderly instead. Also, as it turns out, this glitch is actually a bit more dangerous than expected because as it turns out, when Jimmy fails the mission after picking up the asylum outfit, the game script is supposed to erase the orderly outfit from your inventory. However, they fucked it up big time because they accidentally delete your radio transistors instead. So, if you didn't complete all the hobo missions by this point, and did pick up a radio transistor, then you're screwed because this mission is now impossible to complete and you can't unlock all fighting moves. The glitch itself is actually technically harmless as long as you do not save after failing Binding Johnny Vincent after picking up the orderly outfit. If you do, softlocked, congratulations your game is completely and utterly unplayable from now on. But if you just reload a save, you're fine pretty much, you can avoid it. So, this glitch can actually be performed on any other platform with mods if you use a mod to replay Finding Johnny Vincent after you've completed it. Since Buddy is a linear game, there was never any reason for Rockstar to remove any mission based items from Jimmy's inventory after the mission completion, and you can check this by going to the inventory menu screen. So, replaying it, be it via rcrace1.lure or a mission selector, it will trigger it. Now, in my previous video, I mentioned how I do use mods, but I was completely unsure of, like, you know, what caused it, since I was not replaying the mission when I was playing it. This was sort of me using, um, well, let me actually explain it fully. I believe that the glitch happened to me because I use what they call the Bully Anniversary Jump Tables for PC. Which, if you don't know, in the files of Bully Anniversary Edition, the developers left in save files for everything. Every single mission, every single interior, every single class, pretty much there's a save file for everything. And I use these because I know Supermod is automatically buggy with missions anyway. And since there's some very small changes between Scholarship Edition and Anniversary Edition, I believe it likely happened to me due to a conflict between the mods I use and the Anniversary Edition save game. Which would explain why I couldn't replicate it again with and without mods. 
So yeah, that about wraps up the bully mysterious glitch. So can't believe it was actually that simple all along, but as said, it's still unknown how to sort of trigger it on other platforms because people have said it happened to them on PS2, but without any footage, who's to say they're telling the truth or not? If they are telling the truth, then, you know, maybe there's more to this than meets the eye, but I guess that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.